Many people aren't aware that there are First Nations peoples living within the borders of Canada. Um, in fact, it's not just one First Nations community, but many, many. Right now, we're in British Columbia, which is a province of Canada, and there's over 34 different Indigenous languages within this province alone, and over 200 recognized bands by the Canadian government. Totem poles are carved for specific chiefs and their families or their clans representing their history. In the past, there's been misunderstanding that totem poles and the images on them, the creatures that we see that could be identified as raven or bear or beaver, um, halibut, are, are like gods that were prayed to. And there was a huge misunderstanding by Christian missionaries that who they knew as Indians, and I'm putting that in smart quotes, were praying to the totem poles. That's not what the totem poles are at all. They are a materialized representation of a family's story of how they came to the land where they live and the land that they govern. First Nations people came down from above, from the supernatural world, wearing the cloaks um, that they choose. And then where they landed, they take off their cloaks and they turn into humans. And it's where they landed that becomes their traditional territory. And then it's their first ancestor and that ancestor's story of the of the cloaks that they wore, whether they be animals or fish or birds or even sometimes people have stories of walking down the eyelashes of the sun, you know, the rays of the sun. And so that's what you would carve on your pole to represent who you were. It's, it, the, a crest is like your identity and your ownership papers. It's your history. And each time a pole is put up, it's put up for a specific reason. It could be a memorial pole to memorialize the dead. So um, when someone dies, you would tell their history by talking about their matrilineal and their patrilineal sides. Um, it could be put up when a big house is built, talking about the, the family that lived, lives in that big house and controls that land. It could be um, put up when a chief gets a new name and shows off all the work that a chief does. So a totem pole is not always the same. Every time one is carved, you can tell different parts of your genealogy, of your story, and you can choose to tell different parts. So that's why when people come and say, well, what does the raven mean? Or what does the beaver mean? It's not that. These are very specific stories that really are histories about how people came to be on the land. And only those people that know those stories, that's their proof that they're connected to this place.